old YouTube and Facebookers. Okay, you can stop. No, that was just me. Uh, today's topic on the video, I'm getting bored. I'm home alone. Uh, the top rock singers that influenced me. Uh, mostly my genre of music is similar. Uh, if you search just one band, you might find another band on related artists. But uh, they, for me, on this video, I'm trying to explain the best singers, male or female, that inspired me to either play guitar or inspire my life to go do something. Uh, I have to start with uh, Incubus singer Brandon Boyd. I am a fucking fanboy, yes. That motherfucking can sing. He's a good writer. He's an all-around fucking great musician. All all in a fucking good package. Uh, I've been listening to them for fucking over 13 years now, and his voice only gets better in years. To me, uh, a good singer is just as good or even better than CD quality. If you go to a concert and you hear them, not just Incubus, but any other band... If they sound different or off from the CD, is worse. That it ruins my whole outlook on them as a band because they may be good in the studio, they might suck at a concert. Incubus is better in fucking person than on CD. Yes, the CDs are amazing; they're very well produced. But see them live. I highly recommend it. They put on a great show. It's just a flawless show. They they've been doing it. They they have been doing it for twenty years. But it seems like that that's all they've been doing the whole life. They know what they're doing. Uh, I've they've had like six or seven EPs out. And like I said, his voice only fucking gets stronger. What's good about Incubus, in my opinion, ECD is a different fucking sound. It's a different vibe from each other. It's not like Nickelback where you have the same fucking song over and over and over and over and over. And he does many different things. Uh, he'll, the, way, the way he'll write his lyrics is fucking ingenious or fucking just impeccable. It's just fucking... <sighs> Shout out to his birthday yesterday. February 15th was Brandon Boy's birthday. That's why I put you number one because I was just listening to you. Number two, Chino from Death Tones. Yeah, he has that raspy, soft voice, but his lyrics and him live is fucking awesome. Yeah, his voice did change getting off the drugs again, but his lyrics are fucking... It's like I haven't heard a singer like that before. It's just... It's different, it's raw, and it's fucking pure. Like, they've been around since the early 90s, too. <laughs> they've been around for a long while. And his voice doesn't die over the years. It's, he's a fucking great artist. He's a great musician. He plays guitar very well. Uh, his his voice is very recognizable. It's, you can't really compare it to anybody because it's, it's him. Uh, they're a band from Sacramento. Uh, a lot of these bands are from fucking California. A lot of good singers come from us. Uh, them. My favorite song about them right now will have to I will use this to that's my British the Nick artist. Uh they do a song called Passenger with Maynard James Keenan from Tool. That that collaboration was fucking flawless. Uh Incubus did do a song with Deftones also, uh Drive So Far Away with Adam Sandler and Acoustic for the release of the uh, Little Nicky movie set. Uh, as a promotion, but uh, him and Maynard together was fucking awesome because they both had that soft, like recognizable voice, and they both know how to scream and fucking get into emotion into their lyrics. So my third one today is Maynard James Keenan. You may know him from Pussifer. You might know him from A Perfect Circle. You might know him from Tool. Uh, you might know him for his wine. This guy, like you, it's I want to say embarrassing. He had some videos earlier on YouTube. Before he was in Tool, like you just look at it and laugh, but he's a good lyricist. Uh, his songs fucking go with the melody. He knows how to write. He knows what to sing. He's not overdoing his voice where it takes control. It, the whole band as collaboration is fucking ingenious. They're really good musicians. I highly recommend them to go listen to them. But uh, I sat down for a whole day and listened to the whole catalog of Perfect Circle. Tool and uh, Pussifer. His earlier days, you could tell he was aggressive. He was pissed at something always. Uh, but later on in the years, he started to mellow it out. Uh, his last CD for them was like 10 hours a day when his mother died. You could tell a big impact happened, but his voice is so fucking strong on that. Even though he's not singing a lot, but the, the way he sings it with emotion is fucking ingenious. Fucking kudos to that. Uh, that's one band I hope that lasts forever. They're in their 40s now, and they're still fucking rocking. 
saw them live. Their uh, live shows are what you expect. Fucking light shows. Fucking dark settings. Alex's great art. And the videos in the background are fucking amazing. Uh, I hate to use the ingenious again. Fucking awesome. Uh, the guitarist, Adam Jones, uses his video... Because he directed and animated all their videos through a tool. You can see it in the background. Uh, but his lyric... Like, but midpoint around Anima and Lateralis, like, if you really listen to it, it might just sound aggressive to y'all, but if you put the lyrics down and look at it, this guy is a fucking, he's, he's been through a lot of heartbreak and a lot of bad experiences, but he always seems to get stronger from it. Uh, people are like, oh, Tool's not a love song, but like, listen to the, like, Schism, fucking H, it's about fucking finding the third eye going through the worst situations missing someone know that feeling's there they're used to that feeling and it's just fucking emotional how he brings it out and how he gets over it sometimes like Jimmy the song of Jimmy uh, he knows his girl's gone he knows he's not coming back but he knows that pain but he uses that pain as inspiration and be creative with it fucking awesome go listen to the lyrics again uh, five songs I would recommend from him. Orestes from A Perfect Circle. Fucking amazing song. His vocals are amazing. Number two is Schism. I know that's one of the most popular ones they have, but I sat down recently and just fucking reviewed the lyrics. And it's fucking, it's just, it's meaningful to me, but I bet a lot of people can, can go with that. Uh, the third song I would suggest uh, is H by Tool. It's about a six, seven minute song. Very good song. I love how, what he does with his voice, how he sings. Uh, number four, uh, Ticks and Leeches, I would suggest also. The song is about, of course, leeches and uh, parasites and ticks, how people all are to each other. I won't go too much in the song. But his scream in the beginning, he, he stops playing it live now because it fucks his throat up. But if you go listen to that scream... It's probably the best screaming rock in my opinion. Even all metal, what he does, it sounds like a fucking like a tick, fucking whining and screaming. Uh, f number five, I would say either Three Libras or um, go listen to Noose by a Manor. Very recommended by them. Very good song. Very slow. How he controls his voice, and it's just it gives me goosebumps every time. Uh, another singer. I'm. A, I have this is my top five list. Number four, and they're not in any special order. Uh, I would say Haley Williams from Paramore. <laughs> I'm sorry if you know me. I have a crush on her. I've always had. Uh, it made one of my girlfriends jealous because uh, when she had that incident of someone hacking her phone and her nude pictures go on there. Not only I like her because of that, but her lyrics. She was very young when I got into her. She was like 16 or 17 when she started doing Riot. But I like their music. It's not just a fucking another girl band. Cause she's the only female in the band, but it's not like a lovey dovey, all like period fucking man. You can tell she's a tomboy from the lyrics, and she's really good live. I really recommend seeing her live, also. Really good show. Uh, they're all good musicians in their band, but that chick can fucking sing. She can go into a rock melody to sing in high notes, and when guys listen to it, we can't reach it. And it gives me goosebumps. And she's a very good lyricist, also. You can tell she's matured over the years with her music. Her lyrics does change, but the way she puts it into a song is fucking awesome. Uh, go listen to them. I was going to put Lacey from Flyleaf, but I do believe Paramore or Haley Williams have has a more of a talent than Lacey. Uh, Flyleaf probably goes in my top ten, but this is my top five. Uh, last one. People don't expect me to say this. I would say John Mayer. John fucking Mayer. That guy, I give him props. He's a fucking uh, one of our best guitars of our gener my generation, and you can put him on the top ten guitars of all time in my opinion because he can fucking play guitar and write good music. Uh, you could tell uh, he went to Berkeley, I do believe, and dropped out because he got signed. And his one of one of my favorite CD by was Room for Squ Squares. I love every song on that. It's not your typical rock album. It's soft. It's a cute side. They do have electric songs on them. Uh, his later stuff, he's playing more electric blues. But back then, he was playing acoustic. Was fucking. If you try to learn John Mayer's fucking tabs, they're not that fucking easy. There's chords I've never seen, but they're fun playing. 
and they're very recognizable when you hear them. Some of them are really simplistic, but they're very hard to play. But simplistic as it is, it's really fucking ingenious how he does it, how he applies lyrics through his music. Um, his last CD, I forgot what it was called. I have it here. I wanted to look for it. Uh, you could tell he was going through a lot of heartbreak because, you, as you may know, John Mayer fucking is a playboy in fucking Hollywood and L.A. Dating like Jennifer Aniston. Uh, I think a thing with Taylor Swift, Burt Burt, fucking Jessica Biel, and Jessica Simpson. Fucking, <laughs> he may look goofy, but he he, he has game. <laughs> But his voice is really soft and mellow, and it goes really well to his music style. Uh, he said he's not a strong singer, but the way he plays it, it, it adapts to his music. And I enjoy it, and especially live. It's fucking flawless, and it's fucking never the same when you see him live. Like, like I said earlier in the video, you have to have strength playing live and strength in the studio. And he fucking matches it, and sometimes he does it better than the studio. Uh, he has guest musicians, musicians that come out and play with him. I've seen like Steve I come out and play. Buddy Guy came out. BB King, and all these other musicians. Even Taylor Swift had a half of my heart with him. Like some, like some of his love songs and breakup songs, I listen to a lot. That helps me out a lot because I know what he's going through and is exactly how I'm feeling. I love artists that can do that. Yeah, and you, a song means more to me when I can actually relate to what he's he, he or her are saying. Uh, I guess that's my list for top five rock artists, singers, not musicians, or uh, guitarists, it's just singers. Brennan Boyd, Gino from Deftones, Mana James Keenan from um, 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 Tool, Puffer Circle, and Pussifer, Haley Williams from Paramore, John Mayer from John Mayer Trio, this is John Mayer. Hope you wa liked it. Let me know your opinions, your top five. These are just my top five. I'm not saying they're all-time best. Just my opinion. D Tranthems, comment, like, subscribe. You know what to do. Jesus fucking soul swallowed from fucking wisdom teeth.